What is up ladies and gents, my name is John, I'm a nursing student here at the University of Surrey and for today's video I'm going to be discussing why I went into nursing school. With that said, let's jump straight into it. So my story isn't really that all special, um, probably a couple of reasons why I did nursing. Uh, one being that I'm Filipino. Uh, with a Filipino family, mum and dad, or well, more specifically mum. Um, so th th their option was, to be honest, like either nursing or, or, or medicine. So I was like, you know what? I'm not smart enough for medicine. I was a straight C student. Let me give a nursing a shot. But before all of that, to be fair with you, I had no interest in nursing whatsoever. Um, I wanted to, the moment I was 16, finish uh, secondary school or high school, different actually. I I wanted to go straight to the army. I went to the recruitment office, you know, got everything sorted out. Um, had a chat with my recruitment off, uh, officer and he told me, he recommends at my age to go get like an A-level or B-tech um, and possibly get a degree. The reason for that is because a lot of 16 year olds that do enlist with just GCSEs from what he said, when they leave the army, they've got nothing to fall back on. So I was like, you know what, that's, that's logical, that's understandable. So I went back to school Finish up my A-level slash um, B-Tech and I got myself a good grade to be honest with you and I started looking at nursing. The reason why I was looking into nursing was CS like I said because my parents. Um, during the time that I applied it was free tuition, I think it was the last year so I was like if I'm going to commit I'm going to commit now and also I've heard stories and a lot of people have told me you know, nursing is a very very fulfilling career. Uh, before all of this, since I was about 16, 17 years old, initially I worked at a care home specialised in dementia care. Enjoyed that, but it just wasn't the hospital environment. So uh, luckily my mum's friend or my family friend is a matron for, for an orthopaedic ward and she was like, you know what, would you like a job? So I was like, yeah, of course. Uh, did that for a couple of years and really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the hospital environment enjoyed orthopedics because it's just a very surgical and like clinical area um, that's one thing I I don't think I could ever do medical uh, I've always enjoyed surgical even med surg is pretty all right but medical itself is no 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 for me I had a chat with a lot of nurses there and a lot of the healthcare assistants who were also kind of doing their nursing training and had a couple of uh, nursing students who were also in placement that were telling me you know their story how they've been finding it and I'm like okay interesting enjoying it uh, being a guy, being a guy who watches a lot of shows, I was like, you know what, I want to do either like trauma, a &E, or orthopedics. Orthopedics is quite good, it's quite heavy as well physically. So I was like, let's let's go ahead and, and apply for nursing. I uh, applied for four universities, because uh, that's what UCAS tells you to do or wants you to do. So I did Buckinghamshire University, uh, Southampton University, Surrey University, which was like my Hail Mary. I just, I was like, you know what, let's give it a shot. Very, right. um, De Montfort, which is up north, and I, Edge, I, I don't know, something Edge, I, 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 I don't know. I'll, I'll probably put it somewhere here. But, um, so I attended the Bucks University meeting, that was great. Uh, they gave me a conditional offer, but it was too close to home, and being a guy that I am, I was looking at the, the league tables and the ranking and Bucks, which wasn't up there. Southampton was all right within the, the league table or the, the ranking table for nursing. I was like, okay, that's fine. Went there, kind of enjoyed the facility, but it was too, too far from home. I live in central London, so that's not really that far, but it was still too far from home. And it was a city university, which isn't really my, my preference. And I went to Surrey. Now, Surrey is kind of between Southampton and where I live in London, which is probably optimal. Um, and they say it's a city university, but it's not because you've got your own campus. You've got two different campuses. You've got like the main campus and you've got the Stag Hill campus, which is where I am now. And, oh, you know, I was like, it's, it's a tight knit um, campus. It's close to a nearby town slash city. It's called it's a city because it's a cathedral. So this was my Hail Mary. And fortunately, I've, I got accepted. So. I was, you know, I'm excited. You know, I still got a couple of months to kind of get on with my A levels and B techs. Uh, I still got a couple of months to kind of gain a lot more within nursing. During that time, I tried doing a couple of shifts in A and E, um, as well as orthopedics, and 
really, really, really enjoyed it. Just like I said, it, A and E is something where I want to go into the, the emergency department. But during that time, I was speaking to a couple of paramedic friends and EMTs, and since Dad's got a history within that area, I've always thought, you know what? I've always enjoyed uh, the pre-hospital, or I've always thought that I've, I've enjoyed the pre-hospital environment. So during that time of, of waiting to start uh, University of Surrey, I was hearing things that was like, hey, you know, midway through first year, you can swap different courses uh, within nursing and the whole medical facility, um, health faculty. And I was like, you know what? Maybe ch might change to, to paramedics. But I'll see how it goes. So during that time, um, I was like very, very hesitant and I had a housemate who was a paramedic student and they were just getting a lot of cool stuff, you know, they got helmets, boots, cargo pants, everything. And what would you get? We got a tunic. I was like, oh, and some crappy trousers to wear. And I was like, not my type of thing. But the moment I went to clinical, I was like, you know what? I really, really do enjoy this. It brought me back to when I was doing healthcare assistance at the orthopedic ward, but a lot more. It gave me a lot more clinical knowledge, uh, competency. Yeah, at the same time, I had that chance to actually connect with patients, which is very, very hard these days in some areas of nursing, just because there's so much stuff to do. Um, so like I said, uh, my journey to nursing wasn't really, really that whole, how do I say this, awakening, saying, oh, this is, this is my calling. Uh, to be fair with you, um, I've got about six, seven, probably less than that, actually, three months, three, four months left. Um, till I fully qualify, hopefully. And I still feel like I might do something else outside of nursing. Probably stick within the profession for 10, 15 years. Who says I can't do a qualified? I might give paramedic a shot as well, because uh, I think it's a, it's a conversion course of 18 months, but who knows? Anyway, with that said, thank you for watching. Uh, leave the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. I don't really care as long as you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.